Hey ladies, so I promised that I would give you my stretches that I do on a daily basis. I do them after every single workout. I schedule it as an extension of my workout. It's part of it. it just takes five minutes and you will notice a huge difference in how you quickly you recover, how you feel, you'll avoid some injuries. So I'll just scroll through them all very quickly and uh, just message me or email me anytime if you have questions. Now, if you can't get all the way down in this, then you just simply come up. Eventually, you'll work your way down. Some people can even get that leg up here. I'm not quite that flexible, but this really stretches the glute, especially the one that, that's best. This forward leg, a little bit of modification. You can even come down if you need to stretch it even deeper. Some people can go even low. So you do with what you can do each time to stretch a little bit further, but you don't want to go to the point where you're injuring yourself. So from here, I'll hold this one usually for like 30 seconds, a minute or so. Then take this back leg, swing it around as far as you can. Sit up nice and tall, and I just usually do a little rotation. Again, you're working this glute, stretching this glute here, stretching out to your obliques, do a little bit of your back, look back behind you, and then do the same thing the other side. Look back behind you. From here, again, just staying on that, uh, stay, I do all of my stretches on one side and then I repeat the other. So take this front leg. You're gonna get a little stretch here, working the inner thigh. And hold, again, I hold everything for about 30 seconds. I really need a good stretch, I'll hold it for a minute and then take it back. We're gonna work the hand stretch, the hamstring here. Toe up, heel down, as far as you're comfortable going, then eventually you might even be able to take it straight down. Really works the hamstring good, keep the neck in line. And now all, what I'll do now is I'll repeat the other side. I won't do that with you here, but if I'm doing it on my own, I'll repeat the other side. After all of those stretches, I sit here, crisscross applesauce, sit up nice and tall, and just walk those fingers out as far as you can. You feel a really nice stretch in your lower back. You'll actually work your shoulders here too, reaching down, and then walk those fingers out. Holding that. And then come on the way up. While I'm here in this position, I stretch my upper body just a little bit. Holding above the elbow, stretch and hold. Then I'll take that arm behind again, holding above the elbow, reaching for the middle back. And then you'll do the same thing on the other side. And I take both arms out, round that back, really round it. And then come all the way up and look up. I've got very limited mobility here in my shoulders. Some people can go back even further. Just do what works for you. Then take both arms down. I plant those feet flat on the floor. Reach for the ground. You can work those hamstrings. Round your back. Slowly come up. And one more. Reach up and down. And then you can actually do this on the ground, um, or you can do it standing, but a little rotation in the neck. When you are sitting crisscross applesauce, always feels good to rotate that neck as well too. So that's all I do. It feels wonderful. Uh, go ahead and start implementing that after your workout. If you run out of time, find time to do it later in the day. You will thank yourself. I promise. Have a great day.